What's up with unions in New Brunswick? Specifically, QP in New Brunswick. Recently, they've come out, because it's an election year, with a whole strategy, very confrontational. Their logo's got this big fist up in the air, and they're calling it breaking the mandate in New Brunswick. In a way, they do have a good argument in that wages have been frozen at 0.1% through many collective bargaining agreements over the past 10, 15 years, if not more. This does not keep up with the cost of living increases. So buried in their bluster, there might be a valid point, but it gets lost because they want to be confrontational in, in their approach. Typically, it creates blowback. And here's an editorial from the Daily Gleaner on March 19th, 2018. And it says, hold the line on public sector wages. Public sector union conference underway this week in Fredericton's titled Breaking the Mandate. But it would be more appropriate to call it Breaking the Bank. And away we go one more time with the conflict narrative during an election year. The editorial goes on to say, yes, yet it's fair to question whether public sector unions should be allowed to exist at all. Really? Don't you know that freedom to association is in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms? Any simple search will find that for you. And here we have the editor of a newspaper in pushback towards a union who's taking a confrontational approach, saying, well, maybe unions shouldn't exist at all and citing an American president as the authority and source. All of this just creates a lot of noise. Imagine if you're a first-time voter, and you're looking for the first time at the, paying attention to what's going on in the media, what's going on in your community, and you're watching all the adults act this way. Why would you ever want to vote? One day, the narrative has to change. It has to be cooperative. It has to have some gratitude for everything we have in this province. And for CUPE, did you know that the number one driver for work is not money? Dan Pink has a great TED Talk, if you look it up on YouTube, and it's about what motivates people. And this should be integrated into every collective bargaining agreement. Three key things, autonomy, mastery, and purpose or contribution. You start to weave those things into your collective agreements, and governments, you can do it too you're going to radically change the morale and the performance of your workforce. In the meantime, can we finally let go of the combative nature of this narrative and get on with building a province together? Mm -hmm.